Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry that the Home Secretary is not here today to answer. In response to my question yesterday, the Home Secretary said, I have already made it clear in terms of the Visa Application Centre that has now been set up en route to Calais that we have staff in Calais. That was untrue. And under any normal administration, that in itself would be a resignation. There is no visa centre at Lille yet, in spite of the fact that the Foreign Secretary earlier this morning said that there was. A week ago, the Home Secretary announced a humanitarian sponsorship visa. There is yet no humanitarian sponsorship visa. Mr Speaker, it's time the Home Office granted a visa, wa visa waiver and allowed children and all of those adults with Ukrainian passports to come into the country now. Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. I understand the Home Secretary may clarified her remarks yesterday, and I've been clear in the position on the centre we will, we are, that we are establishing. So I do, I do hear the appeal made. What we would say, though, you know, there is a reason why we, have, we believe it is right that key security checks are done before people arrive here in the United Kingdom. We are, though, reviewing what particular position is around by providing biometrics by those aged under 18. Again, we will do that based on the balance of risk and advice we receive, including from our security services, as you know, we are a country that is in Mr Putin's you know, crosshairs. You know, we are a country that has stood resolutely behind the Ukrainian government and continue to do so, and will be a country that will welcome literally thousands of people here in probably one of the biggest moves to provide shelter and refuge for a generation. We don't come to SNP spokesperson, Stuart Seymour.